Greetings teachers, this is Daniel with Tinker and today I'm going to walk you through how to upload your class roster in your Tinker teacher dashboard. So let's begin. To start, click on My Classes, choose the class that you want to upload for, click on Manage Classroom, and then choose the Students tab in that classroom. You can see I only have a couple of test students here, so I'm going to click Add Student. Here we're given a choice. We can add a single student or upload an entire class roster. Let's choose add a single student. Here we're given another choice. We can create a, a Tinker account or we can use a Google account for students to log in through. Let's create a Tinker account. Add a student first name, last name, an email address or unique username, and then a secure password. Remember that usernames must be unique. If a student has a common username, it's possible that it's already taken. So you may want to add a number sequence or an abbreviation to make it unique. Success! To add a single student using a Google account, all you need to do is type in the Google account email address and that student will be added. Success! Okay, this time we're going to add our students by uploading an entire class roster. We're going to do this first by creating Tinker accounts. Download the demo CSV and open in your favorite spreadsheet program. Let's take a look at our CSV. Notice there are comments on the top of it. These are there to help you. Please don't delete them or remove them. Down here is where we're going to enter our student data. Let's do that now. I've completed my student data, so let's take a look. I've got my student first names, last names, unique student logins, and then a password. Remember, student usernames must be unique. If they have a common username, it's possible they're already taken in the Tinker database. So make sure they're unique. For passwords, make sure you create a secure password for your students and tell them to never share their passwords. Now we're ready to export as a CSV and upload to Tinker. Okay, take your CSV and drop it right in the center. What happens? It would appear there's some errors. Let's download the error report and see what happened. Okay, taking a look at my error report, it appears I have a duplicate student username. It also appears that I may have an open or empty field. I'm going to have to go and fix those. Going back to my CSV, I can see that I do have a duplicate username. So I'm going to have to delete that. It also appears I have an empty field, which also flagged an error. Let me delete that as well. Now I'm ready to upload and try again. Okay, let's grab our repaired CSV and drop it in the center. You can see everything was green. It uploaded everything and did not flag an error report. Success! For this next part, we're going to add students by uploading an entire class roster but this time we're going to use Google accounts provided by our school. Download the demo CSV and open in your favorite spreadsheet program. Here you can see that the spreadsheet is very simple. There are a few comments at the top, so please don't edit or remove those. Underneath the login field, you can add your student Google account email addresses. Add them all. I finished adding my student Google accounts and now I'm ready to export as a CSV and upload to Tinker. Drag your completed CSV and drop it in the center. Uh-oh, it appears we have an error. Let's download the error report to see what happened. Okay, according to my error report, I have a duplicate student username. So I have one error, and if I look over on my CSV, oh, yep, I have one duplicate student username right there. I'm gonna delete that row now my CSV is ready. Let's upload again. 
Okay, here's our corrected CSV. Let's drop it in. And it's green. Great, I've got all my students uploaded and we're good to go. Now it's a good idea to head on over to my lessons and start assigning some tinker lessons. For this next part, we're going to show you how to create multiple classrooms with multiple rosters with only one bulk upload. To do that, we need to head on over to our profile and click Settings. Here we have sort of a teacher administrator dashboard. Go ahead and click on Student Roster and Import Student Roster. Now here we're given a choice. We can upload using Google accounts or create Tinker accounts. This first time we're going to choose Tinker accounts. Click Next. Download the demo CSV and open in your favorite spreadsheet program. Like in previous steps, we have comments. We don't want to edit or delete those. Now this time we're just going to type in the name of the class and here we need to put our first, last, our individual unique login and then a password for each student that's going to be in that class. I skipped ahead here so you can see my data. What you see in my class row are two different classes, Schultz's Coders and Mary's CS class. In my student row, I have the student data for eight new students, but you'll notice I repeated those eight students because they're also going to be in Mary's CS class. When I upload, it'll create two new classes, eight new students, and import eight students into another class. Let's give it a try. Okay, let's grab our CSV and drop it in the center. Great, it's green, so I've created two new classroom and 16 new students were imported. Let's import. Success. Okay, this last and final part is gonna show you how to create multiple classes with multiple rosters using Google accounts for logins. So let's head on over to our settings under our teacher profile and click on student roster and import student roster. Here we're gonna choose Google accounts and click next. Download the demo CSV and open in your favorite spreadsheet program. Okay, in this CSV, there's some comments at the top, so don't edit or delete those. And all we're gonna to need to do is put the class name in this row and our individual student accounts, which are the Google account email addresses for each student in that class. Okay, I've completed my CSV so you can see my data. In this row, I have the name of two different classes, Schultz's Coders and Mary's CS class. In this row, I have individual student logins using Google accounts. But notice, I've repeated some of the Google accounts. That's because these students are also in Mary's CS class. So when I upload, it'll create the name of both classes, but it will also create the student accounts, and then it will add students to both classes. Let's give it a try. Okay, take your CSV and drop it in the center. All right, everything's green. I've created a new classroom. An existing classroom was already there, and we've put 16 new students in. Let's import. And now it's your turn. If you have any problems or have any questions, please email us at support at tinker.com. Good luck.